Hey everyone, Eric here again, and today I want to tell you about the EQ Plus Buffer from the Old Blood Noise Endeavors Utility Line. The buffer in this pedal is always on, and using a buffer will help you retain your instrument's full signal when you have long roads of cable between your instrument and amp. Without a buffer, your signal can degrade over these long cable runs, and it can lose clarity and become muddy. You can put a buffer anywhere in your signal chain, there are no rules. Your ears and preference should always be the deciding factor of the placement. However, I do want to highlight a couple very popular positions for a buffer. The first being before all your pedals, and the second position is placing the buffer after your gain pedals. The placement can affect the tone, so be sure to experiment with your own setup. A unique feature of the EQ Plus Buffer is the switchable 3-band EQ. EQs are a very powerful tool in shaping your tone, and like I mentioned before, there are no rules about where to place an EQ in your signal chain. You can get drastically different results by putting an EQ before or after a certain pedal or type of pedals. put an EQ after all my gain pedals. This lets me have more control over the sound that the pedals are producing. I can use the EQ to get a brighter sound, push mid-range for a solo, and I can turn a pedal sound into something completely new and different. If you want to learn more about the EQ Plus Buffer or any other pedals from Old Blood Noise Endeavors, I've included a link to their website in the description of this video. If you liked this video or found it helpful, please consider subscribing or hitting the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions about buffers and EQ pedals, be sure to leave a comment below. Thank you so much for watching. This has been a quick overview of the EQ Plus Buffer from Old Blood Noise Endeavors.